Speaking of legendary and universal, <laughs> no. reports have emerged that the planned sequel to Pacific Rim has been put on an indefinite hold with no active plans to go into production. Blasphemy. The original <laughs> Pacific Rim film made just over $410 million at the worldwide box office, but carried a budget of nearly $200 million, making the margins very small. The film also would have lost the company a lot of money were it not for a late strong showing in the Chinese market. Schnepp, how do you feel about the cancellation of Pacific Rim 2? <laughs> that good, huh? <laughs> I'm pissed. Me and Dennis were ragging on this, like, what the hell, man? Stupid. <laughs> it's just, I don't have any. I'm wordless. I have nothing. I'm angry. Um, I wish I could say I was shocked, but but I'm not. I mean, for a long time, I didn't think Pacific Rim Two would would get a sequel at all. And I remember us saying, look, it's got to at minimum get to 400 million. And it didn't look for a long time like it would even get to 400 million. And then it did really great in China, which kind of pushed it over the edge, but barely. 400 million is a great number unless you spent 200 million to make the movie and then probably about 40 to 50 million dollars to market the movie. Then you take one third of that 400 million off, suddenly. You, you didn't lose money. I mean, that's the best thing you can say about Pacific Rim is that it didn't lose money. But true to Guillermo del Toro's style, I mean, Der, del Toro said this many times, if he does sequels, he wants to go bigger and better. And I know Legendary was apprehensive. I mean, that's one of the reasons Legendary has never greenlit his, his proposed Hellboy 3 movie because he wanted to make it much bigger, much, you know, much better. And they're like, we, this is, the box office returns don't justify it. And I was still, even though it hit 400 million, I was a little bit surprised that they greenlit lit a sequel. I'm not shocked. I'm disappointed. I'm terribly disappointed, but not shocked that they've pulled the plug on this. At least the official word is on indefinite hold. That means they don't, they don't even have any plans to get this thing going yet, but it could resurface its head at some point. Uh, who knows? Maybe get involved in this whole Kong Godzilla shared cinematic universe. I don't know. Maybe it's Kaiju that they got to fight. Who knows? But uh, it's unfortunate, but I'm not surprised, Mark. I'm not shocked either. But I mean, again, if you had to get this news, which is disappointing news because I like Pacific Rim, there's a lot of war that you could have explored there in sequels. But if you had to get this news, if this bomb had to be dropped, what better day to do it than the same day when we get King Kong <laughs> versus Godzilla? I, when I was a kid, I asked my parents for two things one Christmas. I wanted a tear dome from G.I. Joe, and I wanted the Millennium Falcon. I get downstairs and there's no Terra Dome. And I'm like, oh man, that sucks. But what is there? A Millennium Falcon. If you gave me King Kong versus Godzilla or Pacific Rim 2, I'm taking King Kong versus Godzilla all day. So I thought I might get one movie. Now I don't get that, but I get this other movie. I'll take that. 